friends welcome back to a magnificent monday of this week and today's topic is all about subdomain creation in bluehost hosting so without wasting time let's dive into the topic first go to bluehost.in as we are in india we can go into bluehost.in hit enter once you are inside the bluehost.in indian website click on login if you have already purchased you would have have a login name or username or the email and password with that we have to login so click on login once you click on oh, login a new page opens up this is my domain name same way we have to put in a password of the domain name which i gave while during registration so password i am typing click on login after typing the password and it will go inside my bluehost panel we are waiting for the panel to load yeah the panel has been loaded and you can see there are many other options over here which we can select which i'll tell you slowly so let's go to my site and see if you go into my sites you can literally see this is my main domain brightjohn.com and other subdomains like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 subdomains i am having right now bluehost provides up to 25 subdomains if there is no e-commerce included uh, it will give 25 or else if you include a e-commerce site in the bluehost it will reduce to uh, 20 or 19 also that is the uh, subdomain okay so let's now go ahead and create a subdomain in this for that go to domains over here click on it click on subdomains below you can see subdomains written click on subdomains again the page will redirect to a page name like this where you can create a subdomain and in this page it also shows a list of subdomains which is available right now with me that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so 11 subdomains i am having at the same time i am going to create one more subdomain to show you for practice purpose so to create a new subdomain and note guys here the main domain will not be shown so it's like uh, because it is there in the domain names these are our subdomains that's why it's shown here and pricedown.com is not a subdomain it's a main domain so in bluehost it use this kind of structure to explain the thing so once you get this page to create a subdomain click on add subdomain so another page will pop up like this there you can type in your subdomain name anything you can give it should be at least a three character word that's it okay so let's go for demo dot this main domain dot com that is i'm going to give demo dot bryce john dot com where bryce john dot com is my main domain so this is how you identify it's a subdomain because it has a dot okay after that click on this and give any name is fine i'm putting uh, for, but you should understand which subdomain which you have which mail or which folder so that for them also to easy to access and fix the issue okay so now what i can do is add subdomain yeah let's wait it it will take some time to create the subdomain for you the subdomain has been created can you see subdomain is ready nice work you can see that demo.brasil.com has come in the subdomain list now how to access this subdomain okay in order to access this subdomain and now what i am going to do is that 
I'm going to activate SSL and other things on the subdomain. For that, I'm going to advanced. Let's go into advanced. Yeah. Now the C panel got open, and you, as you guys know, like in other videos also, I've explained. Type SSL. That is secure socket layer. We have to attach to our system. That's what I have. I've typed it there, and it will show SSL, TLS, SSL. SSL access all these things they will show but we don't want that we want SSL TLS only wherever it is space don't go in the first place and go and click you have to select in this case she is in the second line so after reaching here you can see this page in this page you can see all your main domain and subdomain which is active and as we see right now the sub subdomain which we have created that is demo.brightzone.com and www.demo.brightzone.com is red in color which means the SSL of these two particular domains is not activated so what can we do so in order to do that click on this whole check mark and click on auto run SSL click on auto run SSL SSL certification is going on now also. It's activating in the backend process. So let's wait. Once it's done, you can see a green notification coming here and it will refresh the page automatically. So let's wait for that. It takes some time, guys. It's completely fine. Don't get panicked and click on this button or this button. It, can, it will create more problems and can also cause the site to crash. So never ever do that extra thing yeah. you can see that the uh, auto SSL has been completed and the page will refresh right now and you can see the page got refreshed as you can see the SSL certificate which is secure socket layer certificate is activated for demo and www.demo.com but only the SSL certificate and the subdomain is created now we have to start with the website creation of website for that we go back to the Bluehost panel. So the thing is like uh, now you can see the demo.brightzone.com is added. We can now create a website here and install WordPress. In, in order to do that, click on my sites. After clicking on my sites, come totally down because all these things are subdomains only. Now our demo dot subdomain is not being created for that we are going to create it click on add a site click on create new site and type in the subdomain this page we have given demo dot dot com and it is uh, you have to cross check with the spellings because uh, if the spelling is wrong it won't work correctly so once it's done click on next select that particular domain which you have you want to Put the WordPress installation that is demo.brightstone.com. These are the extra plugins given by the WordPress. We don't need it right now. So hence I am unchecking all this and clicking on next. Don't, please note guys don't do anything in the directory. Just leave it empty. Then click on next. And let's wait for the site to load. It takes like uh, one minute for it to rotate and create and add the plugins. All these things are happening right now. Let's see. So once the WordPress is installed in that page, you will be uh, going back to this page. That is the Bluehost page. Earlier it was the page which is inside subdomains. Now we are coming back to the My Sites page and let's see whether the site is being created or not. And please note friends, it will be in alphabetical order. So I am literally searching for D. Yeah. And you can see demo.brightzone.com is created. And let's click and see what happens. As you can see, demo.brightzone.com template has come. Now, so you can see demo.brightzone.com has come as a subdomain over here in the subdomain list and in this now we have activated the SSL certificate also now the next thing is that logging into the subdomain and 
start designing for that we have to log in through the back end we have to do what it is like click on advanced on the left side you have a drop menu where it has advanced click on advanced then click on wordpress manager by softapp plus click on wordpress manager by softapp plus once you click on that you can see all the subdomains you have been created till now in this demo.subdomain.com will be also there let's see see this is demo.brightstone.com so what is the next step next step is to log in to this site for that click on login and as you can see the wordpress backend has been installed and the wordpress also been installed and now from here you can move on to the designing of the website so i hope this small tutorial was easy for you to understand how to create a subdomain in bluehost so uh, tomorrow's topic again it will be something new like this only something practical stay tuned for the hbnet channel shapath 530 i'll be coming back again to solve your queries or whatever it is till then this is bry signing off behalf of hbnet agency thank you bye have a nice day